How about this? There we go. There we go. I tell you what, my microphone just has a mind of its own sometimes. I don't even know what to think of it. I don't even, I don't even know how to, uh, how to even describe it. How's everyone going? Uh, this is, this is going to be a fun one. I think anyway, I've got a, a few different things in mind today. So hopefully we have a little bit more fun. Hopefully we catch a few more, uh, a few more biggins out there got my epic games hitting me up with notifications right now who's all in the chat though that's the question well the, the chat's just moving it's moving like crazy right now i can't even keep up keon sands gavin miller memphis mills drag yachts here cj's here right on right on smash the trash scout the trout smash the trout and scout the trout that's fun those are two fun names to say right after another Banala, Scrap, LOL, Jill Evans, Daniel Jones, Kyle Wofford. Uh, no, Mr. Pheasant, hello, hello. No release date. I, I, the release date for Android could be never. I have no idea, everyone. Um, I have nothing to do with it, so it's not like they tell me anything. Alex Judge, hello. Thanks for this up. I think uh, I'm pretty famous for, uh, for saying that Fishing Planet does not message me whatsoever. They're the exact opposite of Expansive Worlds with the Hunter Call of the Wild. They like, uh, Expansive Worlds enjoys working with people, whereas Fishing Planet seems to be the opposite. They hate working with people. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Biz Hub. I, I, you know, I know that as well. I do know that. Still halfway through level 57 and taking forever to level up. Oh no. Yeah, that's a tough, uh, yeah, you're in the, you're in the difficult part. It takes a little bit to level up after that. $86 splatter ball gun. So happy. Ooh. 
excited to see how that goes, I suppose. Not really sure what to do on a day like today. I'm gonna go straight to the evening where it's supposed to be good weather. We, uh, we can fish from the shore, of course. Oh, bunch of fish. Bunch of fish just went over right there. According to the, uh, fish, the fish dar. Should we just, uh, throw some lures and see? So I have this one. I have this casting rod. I'm gonna throw some lures today. Um, and then we can also do top water, but I'm not sure if the top water is really gonna be what they're going for at this time of day. I guess we can, uh, toss it a little bit. Throw the old buzzbait around a few times and see. It's cloudy. I'm trying to decide which, uh, which lure to use. Let's use this one. Cloudy, cloudy right now. Partly cloudy. Probably means we can use whatever we want. What are you fishing for today? Ooh, saltwater fish, of course. Saltwater fish. Anything we can catch other than that. What map are we on? Guys, guys, guys. You act like I don't put any of this in the title or something. Goodness gracious. I know who work with Fish and Play Dabs. Well, I don't know what to say about it. They don't ever message me. Ooh, big permit. Big permit, but it just did not work out for us. It's fun to be zoomed in, but for some reason, whenever I try to set the hook when it's zoomed in, it just does not work out for me. <laughs> Makes for good video, though. Caught some catfish, you say? Ooh, very nice. Very cool. Well, the permit went after the buzz bait there. Which is good to see. We'll have to go after that one guy again. That seemed like a pretty good size uh, permit that went after that last one. I don't know, it could be wrong. <laughs> That's still happening. Yes, yeah, what uh, what day are we doing the 72 hour stream? Let's see. I'll have to look at my calendar here. We said that we were gonna do the 72 hour stream on April 31st, so coming up. Of course, it doesn't make much sense now, now that it's not April 1st anymore. Uh, Mr. Pheasant, hi. What rod and reel would you recommend for a big 60 plus fish? Well, right now we're using the Sharpcaster 7 foot uh, with the Power Grab 7000. Um, I'm using this one. I think this one's a little bit more fun, especially when you're not always catching unique fish. But this is the Rivertex X Cast 9 foot 10 and the uh, Rivertex Tornado 7500. Um, I think between the two of them, they're both pretty fun. Um, just depends on depends on how the how the fish are biting, I suppose. Let's throw some throw some larva here. I don't think I've thrown some larva yet. Honestly, don't know what to think of it. Looks like it's just dragging along at the bottom. I have to uh, change the weight. It acted like uh, acted like every weight I put on there wasn't heavy enough, and now I put this on there, and it seems like uh, it's too heavy. Interesting. Okay. Okay. What are you doing there, you know? What are you doing there, Heenil? Goodness. Try a 7 out major popper on the Sunday morning, landed 220 pounders. Yeah, well, if you've watched us on the, uh, on Blue Crab in the past, that is, uh, definitely one of my favorite things to do. Um, which I'm sure you have. And one of my favorite things to do is, uh, come out, come out here with the, uh, the popper. And use that. Now I think we're gonna have to use a uh, different weight because this is just pulling us straight down. It said that we needed to use one and three fists to three and a half ounce. That's clearly way too heavy for what we're doing. I'm not sure. Are we gonna be able to get any? Oh yeah, sure enough. Here we go. Let's just buy some different ones. We'll try we'll try different ones out. Try to find the perfect perfect one for us. 
31st, heck yeah. When we were here out on the estuary, we had to do a sudden sharp turn on the boat and we were here a snap, which was the steering rod and the motor, so we turned the wheel, motor won't turn. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, there we go. Six, seventh ounce is working pretty well. Getting able to do a pretty good stop and go. Oh. If anything, it's maybe just a tap. There we go. Right on. It is working. It is working. What did we get? A flounder? Holy crap. This is my first flounder I've ever caught with this. That is hilarious. Wasn't even trying to get a flounder. I just thought we'd uh, flip this around and see what we could catch. That is hilarious. Look at this thing. That is amazing. Wow. 14.946 pound, a unique southern flounder. Honestly, I mean, it's not like it's making us a ton of money or anything, but yeah, that's, that is something else, isn't it? <laughs> that is hilarious. Heenil, what do you think about that, buddy? He's just as shocked as I am. I have no idea what to say about that. Well, right on. Well, if I put his hand on the stove. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. We got fish on the bottom, it says. Fish on the bottom. Let's try to do like a, a lift and drop here. How are you? I'm doing quite well. How are you? Do the tarpon give good XP, as far as I know? They're fun to catch, whether they are or they aren't. Sometimes you just have to play the game to have fun, you know? Whether it's good XP or not. Big fish along the bottom here, just kind of rolling it around on the bottom. Well, let's just drag it along over here too. Right along the edge of these trees here. Oh, look at all the big fish here. Just see what we can do here. Yeah, six seventh ounce seems too heavy even then. But hopefully, still get something's attention since there are a lot of fish over there. Fun in real life with Texas rigs and a fluke. Very cool. Very cool. We're getting into the uh, the old. Uh, there's a weird glitch that makes it so that you don't, uh, you don't catch, you can't use your trolling motor after you catch a fish, which is not fun. You have to be one of these most consistent to catch if you use technoplankton. Ah, yeah, the technoplankton is definitely a fun, uh, fun one to use. That's for sure. Okay, come on, man. Keep up with me. I'm moving. I'm moving at a thousand miles a minute. Let's see here. Bullet sinkers. We're using a six, seven ounce. Maybe try five, eight ounce. I'm just going down in size. I'm trying to find the perfect, the perfect size to throw and keep a good stop and go going. This is actually where I caught a uh, unique snook one time. I think my my best unique snook I caught over here. Ninety nine pound mirror garb. My golly. Jealous, bro. What are they saying? Along the bottom right now? The larva on buzzbait works really good. Fantastic! Well, I'm glad you found something that works. And when you go play Fishing Planet again, you know what? You can go right back to using them, man. That is the best part about Fishing Planet.
Whenever I went there, day one was always best getting unis after unis, but then on day two, not much luck after it. Yeah, the weather really changes a lot at uh, Blue Crab and uh, can really change your bite rate. Um, I, I think specifically, I think it, uh, it will affect certain species of fish. I think every day is going to be a little bit different for different species of fish. I haven't necessarily found out which species of fish work better with uh, what days yet, but one of these days I will. We'll figure that out. <laughs> Ooh, something just came up and tried to grab that. I thought I had it on one speed there too, but I didn't. Man, something just went up and tried to grab that. I don't know what it was though. I try to switch between uh, two speed and one speed with the uh, the buzz bait. I try to get, I use the two speed to get it up on the water, up on top of the water, and then I'll switch to one speed to let the fish get to it a little bit faster. Gosh dang, another one, dude. There we go. Skating it across the top there. Something in decent size is going after it, like immediately when it hits the water. It's just not hooking up. Maybe we should just uh, throw it out there and let it just uh, let it just kind of drop down, see if it goes after it, or we can just kind of do a stop and go instead of uh, just taking it to the top. See if he goes after it then. Cause he was hitting it before we could even get it to the top. What was the problem? Ooh, there he is again, bro. What are you? Uh, he's so quick. Bro, bro. Dude, that's a huge snook. That's a huge snook. It is. <laughs> bro, I knew it. I knew it when I saw him. I saw his giant body and I was like, dude, that's a big snook. That is awesome. They were just chasing it. Chasing it, chasing it. We finally got him. Goodness gracious. Yeah, between this one, I wonder if the other one that kept coming up to it was a snook as well, because I kept thinking, okay, this is either a snook or it's a red drum. I'm not sure which one, but yeah, that's awesome. You can get any try with this spot. Cool. I'll try to let you know where. What's your biggest largemouth in fishing planet? Ooh, I think it's like it's like right on the edge of twelve. I don't think I've gotten twelve yet. I guess we can look real quick. Let's look. What do we got here? Way down here. Okay, let's go up a little bit. 15 pound. We already passed it. What is that thing? Oh, it's the dendrofen. Okay. There we go. 11.971. Yeah, I've gotten very close to 12 pounds, but haven't quite hit 12 pounds yet. So 11.971. So basically, if you've caught a 12 pound largemouth, you've got me beat. Easy way to remember that. <laughs> Ooh, something just hit it according to the drag there. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to pull another one out of here or if that's just the only one we're going to get. I thought I would try though. Give it a try though. A few more. Of course, our trolling motor is glitched out again. Can't move. Can't even move. Noise one. Will you make a vid about a fighter shark monster? Yep. You know me, man. I only do monster videos around Halloween. Ooh, there we go. Can't use my trolling motor, but uh. Fish is pulling me to it. A little trophy snook, looks like. Now the snook are it's just a 12 pounder too. The snook are really liking this buzz bait, which is cool. I think we should go back. No, I don't want to do that. Let's go back to uh, that island over there. I think we have a chance of getting uh, that permit. Go back for that permit we missed out on. With 
with your bud in real life. Well, very cool. That's awesome. I'll have to post a picture of it in the Discord. A long time no see. I agree. Couldn't agree more. That's what I always say. This thing here. So much of a wake that this thing leaves. I always think that there might be a fish coming up for it. But no. So we've just got a little nymph on the end of this, I believe. Next. She is, ah. Uh, holy schmoly. But we could change it up too. Get more premium in Fishing Planet. Oh, yeah. Premium is a good thing to have. <laughs> if you're going to get anything. Sad moment because I didn't take any pictures. My goodness. You caught a giant fish and didn't take any pictures. That's just horrible. Try it. A slug. That's what Money God said. Put a slug on. I swear it works. All right. We'll try in a slug. Just like what you said. Didn't see you in a minute. I know. I, geez, I sneak up on people. Look at that. Slug is just slugging them. The slug is slugging them. Yeah, slug, that's what you said. It worked perfectly, money god. You nailed it. Little trophy permit. I started moving my uh, trolling motor before I even uh, accepted the fish because I wanted to see if it would let me go. And it did. Backseat gaming? It's like people have never heard of it before. <laughs> You've never used a slug before? Oh my god, as you can see, if you're trying to catch a trophy permit, that's the one to use. Wee, 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 stupid permit. If you're gonna take it, then take it like a big fish. Don't the be so dainty about it. <sighs> Always hitting F12. Gotta hit that F12, eh? Well, I don't hit F12 because F12 is tied to my, uh, tied to my record key, I believe. Pretty much never hit any of my F keys, except for F1, so that I can, like, time people out and stuff. <laughs> Super exciting things. Have I heard of God of War? Yes, I remember when it first came out. Well, other than the actual, you know, the God of War. That guy's been around for a while. <laughs> Don't have them unlocked. How much to go? Where are you now? Where you are now? How much to go where you are now? What? What's that? So the bite should be still decent, but by God, it's done. Let's uh, let's move. No, I want to get to keep hitting T when I mean hit R. Let's move over here. Toss around. Toss around. Toss around. Right around here. See if we can nail anything. Got the old larva. Not seeing any fish jumping. Yeah, there was something right there moving. 
just toss this over here and see if we can see if we can get anything. Best bait for small gar? I you know I'm not really sure honestly. I never uh, went after much of the gar. I think the only gar I really went for was the uh, alligator gar. Some fish swimming. Oh. Mid to the very bottom right now, anyway. Okay. There we go. Throw on a, a larger sinker now so I can hit that bottom. Ooh, yeah. Decent fish at the bottom right there. seem to want the larva though I like the larva but let's try something else here try the old slug I'm just gonna toss it out into the middle here how low I want to play mo but I can't load into it I yeah honestly I don't know because I don't I don't have anything to do with the mobile so I don't know anything like, I don't know any fixes, I guess. Um, can't load into it, I assume. An internet issue, but I'm not sure. Could be a server issue, for all I know. Slugs, 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 slugs. Oh, we'll just use a small uh, bluegill then. I don't know. I just, that or just tie a, you know, fray a rope. Look up a video about making rope lures um, out of, uh, obviously, a rope. Um, the whole idea is that they kind of go after it like it's a, like it's a fish, and then their teeth get tangled up into the rope. Uh, I, I made a few because some of the waters that I fish in have some gar I've seen. Their, their dorsal fin will pop up in it. And so I, uh, so that's why I started doing it. I have to switch lures here. Let's go with this guy. I'm not going after my soft lures. So let's throw a crankbait and see if we can get it to go after it. What's your PB yellow perch? I'm not sure. Two AM in Iceland. Oh my goodness. Well, you make sure you get some sleep. I don't want uh, anyone blaming anything on me, you know, tomorrow. He didn't get any sleep. Oh, it's because he was watching that crazy American guy till two in the morning. <laughs> don't wanna be uh the blame. Hope you're having a good night. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, Travis. Hopefully you are as well. Yeah, these fish aren't going for this. Oh, no, 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 no. There's fish over here. I've always had good luck catching fish in between these two bunches of trees, but... But over here looks pretty good, too. In fact, we might just go uh, set up shop there and try to catch some on bait. We don't get anything on this cast. You know how it goes, though. We end up catching something very small. And then we end up sitting here for another 15 minutes not catching anything at all. <laughs> That's what always happens every time we're like, Oh, yeah, well, let's just see. We'll give this one last cast and see if we catch anything. Nothing. All right, let's go. Let's go set up shop for a little bit. Jumping on fishing planet now sounds good. Goat, goat, hi. First time in life progressing my final exam. I'm studying for tomorrow. <laughs> well, I'll be giving you good luck vibes, ML. Good luck vibes all the way. Go ashore, go ashore. Faster, faster. We need another master. 
All right, we got uh, we got lots of stuff moving here. To oh, big fish jumping too. Big fish jumping. Let's throw this out here. And that little uh, dealy wobber. Throw this guy over yonder. And then we'll throw the other dude over here. Oh, more. There's lots of fish moving around over here. So we'll just throw everything over there. I actually have a float as well, which has a crab on it. So we'll throw that out here as well. Little bit of everything. We got crabs, we got scaled sardines, we got large minnows, and we got uh, large cub bait. We got we got a little bit of everything. We'll see what they're biting on. We'll get, we'll uh, change it up maybe if we need to. Got an 80 pound blue catfish. Ooh, very nice. Ooh, ooh, we got nibbles. Watching that tip there. It's gotta be moving. Gotta be moving here soon. Oh, there's something on there. I think anyway, no. Oh, oh, I think it was, it was, uh, it was contemplating. That was a big red drum though. That was a really big red drum. I saw the tip move, I swear. Maybe I'm going insane, I don't know. They'll go back for it, surely. Surely they'll go back for it. Surely knows, that's what I'm always saying. What's up, Tempo asks. Just uh, doing some gardening here. Just some very simple gardening. Don't want to stress myself out, so I'm just keeping it simple tonight. Um, dang fish keep getting in my gardens. 19 pound permit. Ooh, fish jumping. They're fish jumping, bro. Throw this back out here. That is with the scaled sardine. Okay, back to the large cut bait. Moving around again. Gonna be a little bit more patient this time. Go for an uni speckled bass. <sighs> you know I want to, man. You know I want to. This is on the uh, big large minnow there. What it was, is it a tarpon? I think it is a tarpon. Little tarpon. He's just a little guy. There he is, 35 pound tarpon there. Catching fish though, that's what's important. Sometimes you should just be happy that you're catching fish. I know we get swept up into it thinking, oh, gotta be catching unicorns. Unicorns, unicorns, you know, uh, unicorns times four. But sometimes you just have to remember that there was a time where you were just trying to catch fish at all. And, uh, and that's always fun. Just making sure you're catching fish. Better than just sitting here talking to a chat, trying to waste time, bringing up random stories. Um, which who does, you know, actually today went to Panera, uh, got some food, wife wasn't feeling well, so went out there, took Bjorn along, um, you know, had a good time, but of course, you can't always be changing the subject, because we're out here fishing, trying to be catching some fish, this line's moving here, moving around, mid rod there, that's gotta be the scaled sardine, right? Don't see any action on the float, float's not moving around. Oh, yep, yeah, sure enough, scaled sardines at it again. Uh, tarpon. How about that? Another small tarpon. Crabs work great. Well, good deal. Henny. Another 32 pounder. Another 32 pounder. Their brother. Trolling motor. Hi, BZ. Do you play Fishing Planet on mobile? You know, we literally put out a video about that. Uh, last week. So, if you haven't seen that, maybe give it a watch. Float is better than bottom rods of blue crab? Um, obviously right now, it seems, no. It seems like the float rods are not doing well. Uh, obviously you could probably adjust the float rod to go down to the bottom a little bit more. Oh, maybe I, I do see a fish down there. There's a fish there, you see him? Messing with our bait. I don't know what he is. Red drum or snook, maybe? Maybe that's just our bait. Ooh, there goes, there goes the flow. How about that?
It's a permit? It is a permit. I'm afraid to max this line out because it wasn't already maxed out, so for some reason... For some reason, maybe I forgot to max it out. Come here, permit. We got things to do. There we go, a little trophy permit there. What do we got here? Something not too big. A little red fish here. Top notch, 18 pound red fish, 35 inches. Moving along, moving along. Moving along or we'll die. Dana Sherman, how's it going? How's it going? Money God, also in order to hook a car, you need to have solve her to set the hook pretty dang hard. Yeah. Very true. I uh <clears throat> I had heard one time something about when they're trying to when they're trying to uh, I don't know whether this is true. Just take me saying this as uh, speculation. Trophy red drum this time. That's a good one. 47 inches long. Um, but I had heard that Gar like to go downstream when they have uh, a fish uh, they're trying to swallow. And then they like to go back upstream when they finally swallowed it. Could be complete crap. <laughs> but that's what someone in a YouTube video said one time. And I was like, that's interesting. So they're like, yeah. So I like to wait till the fish starts swimming upstream. And that usually tells me that they've swallowed it. And I was like, huh. All right. Well, I guess I'll keep watching that. I'm not sure if it's true, though. <laughs> you know who would know? Uh, freaking Big Block. Big Block fishes Gar all the time. He would know. He hasn't been here for a while, though. Miss Blue Crab. Oh, well, we're here. We're here having fun. We're catching lots of fish, that's for sure. Catch more permit without lures. So I always caught permit um, with a float rod off the boat right over there by that island. I would throw, I can't remember what it was now, scaled sardines or live, uh, you know, large minnow or something. That was interesting. What we got now? Whoa, he just came out of the water there. This is a little tarpon. Spunky tarpon, a spunky tarpon. We have a trophy tarpon on. I can't wait to uh, come out in the morning and fish these guys with poppers. That's going to be great. We came really close to catching a uh, unique one last time. Dude, I love it when they jump out of the water. It's so exciting. So exciting watching those tarpon jump out of the water. Though I think they should really get more hang time. I feel like they should completely come out of the water. They do a little whale flip, which I think is pretty cool, but I want to see them like completely jump out. 64 pounder there, 1500 experience and $3,000. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Toss this back out. Should have a little bit more time of uh, good fishing. Yeah, a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. Watching for a while because I've be you've been sick. Well, that's no good. What rod and reel would I recommend for big fish like 50 pound plus? Um, yeah, I think I already showed you that. Well, you said 60 pound plus at first. Uh, 50 pound plus, um, probably pretty similar. Look at the rods and reels and see which ones go over 50 pounds and use those ones pretty simple concept what's the max level a bazillion i don't know is it 80 now i can't recall Real VR fishing line. No, I haven't. I haven't been playing um, that. Uh, if it was easier to record on my VR set, I think I would play it more. Um, but it's not, so I don't play it that much. I thought this was kind of interesting. For some reason, when I was looking out at this, I somehow got the reflection to go here just a second. Nope, didn't work that time. Okay, never mind. I'm just crazy. 
Fly Fisher and Fly Maker. I enjoy Jovan Jovanovsky. Very cool. Yeah, we've got some uh, we've got some fly fly fishing peeps in the Discord, and they post their pictures of their flies they've made. I think it's really cool. I haven't gotten into fly tying myself, um, but I do like fly fishing. Um, I, I plan to catch a bass this year. Dare I say, maybe even a carp if I can manage it. Um, but until then, you know, we'll just have fun. It's still turkey season, so I'm still running around trying to find turkeys. Making them. Will Fishing Planet be on Android? Fantastic question. Fantastic question. I don't know. I don't know. Will I become a bazillionaire? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It's, uh, you know, it's just in the realm of possibility without knowing. Long time no see, Michael Myers in the house. Hey, right on. Professional fisher. So is my dad. He used to make his own rods. Well, very cool. On a different count. Well, so eat. You're an artist too? What? Well, you'll have to post your, uh, your stuff in the, uh... There's a fish messing with it. You see it there? It's messing with it. Can't tell what he is, though. He looks weird. Maybe a snook? What the heck are you? There goes the float again. Right when we think we're not gonna catch anything on the float, we catch another fish on the float. Whoa, he just, like, lazy ducked his way over here. Haven't caught any monsters yet, but we're catching decent fish, I suppose. Another permit here. Come on, permit. Lots of permit. Pick up the rod, please. Pick up the rod. Boy, you are just taking your time. Oh my god, pick it up. Oh, killing me inside. Black drum. We're finally our first black drum of the night. Trophy black drum at that. Very nice. I tell you what, I think we've come to the point where I'm ready to uh, switch time. Let's try something else now. Doing good tonight with 68 viewers. Yeah, it's really fluctuating a lot. Oh, we got a whole minute. A whole minute. What's the weather supposed to be like tomorrow? Let's see. Ooh, it's popper weather tomorrow. Let's go. I'm excited. I love popper weather. Popper weather is my favorite. We're going to go over here real quick. Just some real nice driving. And we've got 30 seconds to waste. All right. Let's see if we can do a figure eight around these islands in 30 seconds. Here we go. 20 seconds now. Zoo. Zoo. Oh, real big roundabout. Real big roundabout. It's going to be close. And back again, back again. Cutting it close to six seconds now, he nil. And complete. <gasps> we did it. We did it in 20 seconds. Boom. Boom shakalaka. Okay, let's go change the time now. It's popper weather, everybody. Let's go. Let's go. L-A-T-S-G-O. Oh, that was actually the one I needed. Here we go. Let's try the green popper. Leslie. Leslie. Favorite map to fish. Favorite map to fish. Difficult. Difficult. I don't know. I get bored with all of them eventually, so I don't really have a favorite. It's like, I used to say Weeping Willows was my favorite, but after that one night where we caught like 16 uniques in one night, the thought of going back there tonight was just like, yeah. Whereas Blue Crab, we, we really struggled catching big fish at Blue Crab last time we came here. So I was kind of looking forward to uh, some redemption, to be honest. Got some two-star poppin'. 
Everybody's mouths are dropping. Everyone's impressed. Oh no, we dropped a one. Everyone's impressed with my two star popping. It got hit by something immediately. Didn't even give me any time to prepare. Goodness gracious, what sort of what sort of country do you think we live in here? Least favorites, Lenny. Lesney, Leslie, Lenny Vela. What have you missed? You've missed uh, two Uni so far. Uh, uni Snook and an Uni Flounder. What is popper weather supposed to be like? Ooh. It's only this day, so I can't show it to you. It's only the days uh, that have like a big spike in the morning and a big spike in the evening. Those seem to be my best days to use poppers. There we go. Struggling to get that two star there, but we got it, boys. Ooh, 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 ooh. Grab it. He's got it. Oh, you are such a pain, bro. I'm about to switch to freaking buzz bait. You're just, you're being a buzz kill right now. He, like, just looked at that lure for the longest time. All right, one last throw. One last throw, and we're switching to a buzz. Second favorites, the Congo. Numanja, Tulak. Numanha. Thinking about it. I'm thinking about how to pronounce it. How are you doing? Do you fishing carp in real life? Uh, we do fish carp in real life, yeah. We have a lot of videos on the Modern Day Outdoorsman channel. Um, and once the weather starts improving, we'll probably head out and be fishing again. Um, my, my luck is that uh, the weather is always kind of crummy. And then once the weather finally does improve, then it's turkey season. And I end up going turkey hunting for two weeks. And then... And then it puts fishing on hold even more. There's our first tarpon, though. 42 pounds. Glad that he uh, actually took the lure. Like a normal fish. First stream in a while. What time do you start streaming at? Uh, 7.30. PM Central. I try to put it in every single video I put out. We stream... Mondays and Wednesdays, 7.30 to uh, 9.30 p.m. Central. You can see, it's uh, it's locked in my brain. Bought a casting rod one month ago, very cool. Do you have grass carp for fishing? Uh, yeah, I haven't been, I've been to a place that supposedly had grass carp there. But I haven't caught one yet. Um, just today we saw a picture of someone catching one at a uh, at a uh, a lake um, here, um, surrounded by houses. So we thought, well, maybe we might be able to sneak out there and try to catch one. Um, but we'll have to see. We'll just have to see, won't we? Dare I try a black one? Let's try. With the nymph. With the nymph. This is what we were getting that, uh, that really big tarpon to go after and he didn't get hooked up. God, that was such a killer. That's the thing with topwater bites is that, look at, look at this fish. There we go, hooked up. Oh, he's small. He looked so big when he came up for it. When you're topwater fishing and you're zoomed in, you see those fish, like, come up and, like, think about grabbing it. And they all look so big. But, like, that one tarpon that we were messing with, he looked massive, dude. Got a trophy permit. All right, all right, all right. We have bleak that can grow up to 500G and more. What? Well, pretty. That's pretty awesome. What uh, what country are you from? Uh, Saint Croix, Congo, White Moose Lake. Very cool. Fish on the bottom right now. Yeah. 
You should see how they fight. I imagine they fight pretty hard. Because uh, I catch regular carp all the time, and the grass carp would just be a larger version of that. Gosh dang it, bro. They're just coming up, and they're just tapping it. They're not actually... A uh, freaking permit came and grabbed it. Well, thank goodness for the permit. Saving me. But I'm kind of going for big tarp in here. So if you could just hold off for a second. Use the blue color popper. Oh. Oh. You think that's what it is, eh? They're more of the blue variety fish. You know, you know what? You know what? Just because I don't remember you ever being a backseat gamer before, we're gonna try the darn blue popper. Just for you. We're gonna see. We're gonna see if it catches any fish here. Come on, buzz bait. Oh, there's a tarpon. There's a tarpon. Doesn't look very big though. Thirty-seven pounder. Let's go try out the blue popper now. Blue popper, yum. All right. We throw it along here, or throw it towards the boat. We'll try both. What fish do you guys usually fish for in real life? I usually go for walleye or bass. Yeah, man. Two of uh, the guys at work uh, went out to Lake Erie this past week, and uh, I'm not sure how many walleye they caught. 20, maybe? I'm not. They caught a ton. The biggest one was like eight and a half pounds or something like that. Yeah, they caught. They caught a good many. That's for sure. Click streams, thank you, thank you. Have carp up to 50 pounds? I'm, I'm pretty sure we have carp up to 50 pounds in the US as well. I don't think they get much bigger than that. Brogan Barnett, thank you for the uh, sub there. I think uh, the carp in the US usually get shot with an arrow before they get above 50 pounds. We'll never beat other countries at this rate. will always be behind. It's gonna be like US number 18 in the world for largest carp. Because everyone keeps shooting them with arrows. Pulling a big catfish. Pulling a big catfish. Hmm. I, I, you know, I've heard about that, Ethor. I, I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, Ithor. Dude, 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 bro, come on! Oh, the second one that's done that. All of our meters were nearly full, and I just needed him to freaking set the hook. Goodness gracious, I was... My mouse is about to tip over this freaking can in front of me, so I stopped pulling so much to the right. Ugh. Excuses, excuses. Excuses, excuses. One last one. One last one. It's too much fun to not shoot them with arrows. Hey, if you enjoy eating them, then I'm all for it. But if you're not eating them, then there's no reason to shoot them with arrows. Just catch them and release them, like a real person does. Because if it's fun, then there's a way to do it without killing anything.
fishing lakes, they are protected. Understandable. TJ Capels here. How's it going, TJ? Come on, Tarpon. Here, Tarpon, Tarpon, Tarpon. God, he almost like took it like it was only, yeah, 20, it was like 30 feet away from the boat when he first went for it. One last cast here. Level 64, very nice. You're like a Nintendo. Carly Priv's in the house. Your carp go up to 210, 210 grams. <laughs> or are you talking about those Siamese carp? I'm not sure how heavy those ones get, but they look pretty big. I, I wouldn't doubt that they could get to 200 pounds. You have tar tarpon as well? Up to the mother, which is now deemed the laundry room. What? Well, hey, that's pretty awesome. Want us to come and shoot them? I found people that eat them, but I apparently don't like the taste of carp. Yeah, they're. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. But, like I've always said, if you're not going to eat them, then there's no reason to kill them. Pretty black and white, you know. You see me You see me killing rats? No, 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 no. Not at all. I let my dogs kill the rats. <laughs> no. But hey, I'm not a big fan of it. Hey! 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 Come on, bro! Hook up! It's killing me inside. I'm done with the freaking popper. It's not... It doesn't hook up. It just drives me insane. Open up the freaking inventory. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> what do we throw on here? What do they like? I don't... Shads and grubs. I don't think I have... I guess I have a, this... I have this one. Let's try this. Hello from Wyoming. Hello from Wyoming. How are you? Trying a different grub this time. Well, thank you, Eric. Got the whaling catfish yesterday. I don't know if I know what a whaling catfish is, but it sounds cool. Come on, Buzzbait. Come on, Buzzbait. Failing. Failing us, Buzzbait. Alright, I'm gonna try a few more over here. Then I think we're gonna move... Move spots. Ah, got hit by something before we even got to the top. Pop while it's biting. Works for you. Works for you! Oh my god, are you ty- are you saying that all I needed to do was just lift all oh, just lift the rod and it sets the hook? Why didn't I think of that? Oh my god, I'm so stupid. You know, it's because I've only been playing this game for like five minutes, so I just don't know anything, Drag Yacht. Thanks for letting me know, buddy.
God freaking dang, bro. It's normally car basically every type of car. Basically every type of car. got the one uh the one uni snook not sure if yeah the weather's not great not sure if we're gonna manage one but let's see got that one uni snook on the larva let's see what we can get with the grub the, the twin tail spider grub if we can manage anything over here Radar is really not showing much. Oh, there's something. Something small. It's a little bonefish. Well, right on, little bonefish. Got him, got him, got him. Hundred and thirty-eight pound uni tarpon. Ooh, very nice. Tuesday, I thought the game was cool and download, and I was chasing bear for an hour. Why were you chasing a bear? For, you're supposed to. You're supposed to shoot the bears, not chase them. This isn't tag. You're playing. Uh, playing tag with wildlife. Is that what you're trying to do? There's a fish. Another bonefish. But the bonefish are really going after this guy. Okay, we've gone from a normal bonefish to a trophy bonefish. Let's go. Maybe we'll get an uni bonefish this time. Going after that twin tail. Hey, BZ. Hi, Mason. How are you? Hey, hey. The darn thing is, is that these bonefish are way too light for this rod. Let's throw it on the other. In fact, in fact, let me try something different altogether. I'll throw it on this thing. Dare I? Dare I? That's right. I dare. I dare to do what none have done before. Ooh, look how far we can cast it. So far. Bonefishes are odd. They are odd. They are very weird looking fish to me anyway. I think they are. Hey, got a fish before we could even get it up to the top. I'm not sure what it is though. Wanting to pull my boat though. And I'm not about it. So uh, if you're all recognizing right now, I'm using the uh, the best rod in the game, as uh, told in my video. <laughs> Long time no see. I yeah, I saw that. You're in the bone zone. That's what I always say. That's what I always say. The bone zone. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Come on, bonefish. Truly is. Truly is. It's just so versatile. You can use it for all sorts of things. Can you catch a mangrove snapper there? No, unfortunately not. Hey. Boy, he came up and grabbed that, didn't he? It is a bonefish. Pretty sure, anyway. Wily bonefish. Didn't even give us a chance. Didn't even give us a chance. He just, like, came up and smacked it. Most people we've had in a stream at once. Ugh. I want to say it was, like, 116 or something like that. It was during a uh, live stream for... 
a new Call of the Wild map. Not sure which one though. Teawaro, I want to say. Teawaro, something like that. Not sure how to pronounce it. Oi. Tried to get it at the end there. Who ordered Grub Up? <laughs> I did, and then he just comes up and smacks it. You know, that's something I, it's, oh, oh, what are you doing there, Bonefish? You just completely whiffed it. He came up, almost came out of the water. He completely missed it. That was hilarious. Okay. Wow. I feel like he was a pretty good sized Bonefish too. He just completely missed the lure. Which Dumber Shad do you need for best? I, I, I don't know, dude. I don't know. <laughs> Use a number like 3 ot or 4 ot hook and then the, the Shad will be based off the size of hook. Come on, Bonefish. Ugh. These Bonefish, bro. All right, I think we've lost all of our good time to be fishing, honestly. Let's just go straight to here. <clears throat> Actually, let's toss this one more time. I'm gonna throw in the larva, pretty sure. Let's throw in a purple larva. Might catch a snook. Is there any indication of a fish biting? Uh, no, not really. It's just uh, the drag. You'll see the uh, the little bars on the right will show some color real quick. Like they did right there. I think came up and tried to grab it, but just didn't get it. <laughs> I think it's funny that he uh, didn't go back for it. Do one last one. Don't you feel asking? End up making into memes. I know. Carly's out of memes, everyone. We gotta start asking some more interesting things. <clears throat> Dude, that's a big fish. 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 I think it's a red drum. It's a, it's gotta be. That or it's the biggest snook I've ever caught in my entire life. It's gotta be a red drum. He's taking line out cause he's a big fish. Dicking line out cause he's a big fish. Not gonna let it get down to the bottom cause that would be a sucky way to lose a big fish. And we did it last stream. My nose is itchy, but I can't itch it cause I'm trying to catch a big fish. <gasps> no, 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 no. <laughs> Freaking me out, big fish. Freaking me out, dude. Give up. Give up, Charles. Give up, Charles. Come on, Charlie. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Let him he nil. He's only a trophy. That is baloney. Look at the size of his head. He couldn't be a trophy. How is he a trophy? He's a 46 pound red drum. How is that only a trophy? That's ginormous. 
Oh my golly. There's a huge trophy. That's all I can say. Well, yeah, nailed it. Humongous trophy. You know what? If, if there was a trophy leaderboard, I'm pretty sure I'd be pretty close to the top. So, I'm gonna put that in there. Biggest trophy red drum in the game. Don't like to brag, but you know. Any unicorns yet? Yeah, we've got two unicorns so far. Well, he nil. I think that's a good fish. I think it's a good fish. Goodness gracious. Well, what size is it? Uh, I have to see this now. Where the heck are you? Heck are you? 76 pounds, my golly. See, 57 inches long, 76 pounds. Fifty-one inches long. <laughs> Difference of six inches, mind you. Six inches and thirty pounds. That's five pounds per inch. Just baloney. Just absolute bologna. <laughs> that was a giant fish. That's all I'm saying. I know that's pretty uh, evident by me saying it a bazillion times. But I was pretty impressed. My animals in your exam track because there's a number in the top right. What's it for? What's it for? A number in the top right. Hmm. Um, does it have an animal nearby it? By chance? Well, there's a lot of fish in here, but I'm not, I'm not honestly just going to drag this buzzbait along the bottom. It said uh, all those fish were along the bottom. Oh. Oh, now there's, uh, there's fish up top. Well, hecker do. Hecker do Bob. Fish up top, fish on the bottom. There's just fish everywhere. Hey, hey, another big fish, another big fish, another big fish. That's a snook, too. That's a snook. He's going into the mangroves. The mangroves. Sexist. Why can't they be woman groves? Come on, mangrove fish. Get a big mangrove fish. There we go, boys! Why didn't you do Nooni? I hit the button. There we go. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Goodness great. That's our second uni snook of the night. This one's smaller than the other one. Good night. There's a number. What's it for? Well, if the, if the number is next to the animal species, then... I would assume that's the, that's the size of the animal, but... If it's a little icon, and it has like a buffalo or a moose or a deer i think it's a wild boar actually for most deer um then that shows you the animal class so then you can kind of base off the animal class what ammo and weapons you need to use i suppose but if not if it's to do with the if it says Black Bear 3 or something like that, then that'll tell you the level of the species specific uh, animal you're looking at. Gosh dang, I'm so sick of this freaking glitch. You have to literally get up and turn your boat on to get out of it. The drum gave more XP. Well, what can you say? Apparently, the red is if it's over 48 pounds. Are you serious? 
We were that close, huh? <laughs> and you brought pizza for everyone. What a freaking gamer. Let's go. Very nice. Let's go, fish. Let's go, fish. Come on, fish. Okay, evidently this rod is just deciding not to do well anymore. Let's turn around and go this way. There are a lot of fish on the bottom, though. I might take the other rod out. And, uh, take it along the bottom. If that's where they're gonna be. That's where they're gonna be, everybody. <laughs> okay, so if it's the number besides, like, the bear, for instance. Well, actually, the bear saying seven would be the animal class. So I think, I think it is animal class. Because the... The bear is the, it's the icon for, uh, class seven, I believe. And then the moose is class eight, and then a bison would be class nine, I believe. Yeah, the larva's doing work. A little snook here, a little snook, snook, snook. Top notch, little 10 pounder. How much longer are you gonna stream? We're gonna stream for another 45 minutes or so. Woodworking Beagle is here. How's it going, bro? Have you ever done when you about to take a lure out of the water and the fish bites and, and you miss the fish? Yes, have. I've also done where like I'm about to take the lure out of the water and the fish comes, grabs it at the last second, and then you have a fish on, and you're like, what? What just happened? I was about to take it out of the water, and now, now I've got a fish on. I like those moments a lot more than the uh, the moments where you lose a fish at the last second. But well, we've had two fish come up and try to take this. There we go. What is this, dude? Is this a big bone fish? Oh, I hope it's a big bone fish. Oh, I hope it's a big bone fish. Uni bone fish, let's go. Come on. Come on now. Be a bone fish. Let's go! A new personal best, too! Boom, chicka, boom, boom, uh, bro. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Sometimes when you know, you know. I knew it. I knew it. 17 pounds. $1,569. 33 inches. Let's go. Look at you, Heenil. There you go, buddy. Very nice fish, man. Look at this photo. Look at this photo, man. Oh, yeah, this is going on the gram for sure. The Henel gram. Whoa, he just flipped out like a crazy fish. Very cool, Henel. You look really neat. I'll send that picture to you so you can send it to all your friends. All right, let's go, uh, let's go move over here. I don't know, we've been catching a lot of fish over here though. Maybe we should just stay here. I always end up moving and then I do bad. How long have we been streaming for? We've been streaming for an hour and 20 minutes. What do you think is the best way to fish tarpon out there? Um, I mean, if you were wondering, like, I guess the best is, uh, it's up for opinion, I guess. To me, the best way to catch tarpon is using topwater lures. I enjoy seeing them come up, snatch it, and then, you know, you know, tearing off with it. I think that that is a ton of fun, and, and because of that, it's the best. However, if you were trying to go for a really big tarpon or something or wanting to catch more tarpon, arguably, you could probably just throw out bait. Like when we were sitting out there, we sat out there for like a half hour in game and, and probably caught the same amount of tarpon as we did 
fishing for two hours with a popper and a buzzbait. So it just depends on what you think is the best. Is having fun the best or catching the most fish the best? Because maybe catching fish is fun enough to you, you know? Oh, very true. Very true, Woodworking Beagle. 65 people were watching, and yet we only have 56 likes. Tsk, tsk, tsk. What is that about? What is that? Obviously, I'm doing a bad job. Everyone's not like, they don't like this. If anything, subtract 56 likes, and those, you know, those are all dislikes, evidently. I usually sleep at this time because I'm from Germany. Well, goodness gracious, and yet you're taking time out of your day to come watch me. Well, or out of your morning, I guess. Well, I appreciate it. Goodness gracious. What's the biggest carp we've got in Fishing Planet so far? Oh, golly. Besides the uh, Carp Colossus, probably, uh, I don't know, maybe in the 80s. Something Danny Fairbrass has probably beat me with in real life. We've uh, we've gone fishing for a bigger fish before. We've just never caught one. I think it honestly is just kind of more luck than anything at this point. Let's see. Oh, uh, Carp Colossus there. We've caught a larger black drum than we have a carp yeah 80 pound mirror carp is the biggest so far so it's pretty good i'm i'm okay with that i suppose all right we're six minutes away from uh nighttime fishing i've never done well fishing at nighttime I'll be interested to see if it lets me, even though it says 25 minutes to switch time. I'll be interested to see if it lets me change the time. Once it switches to night time. That makes sense, right? minutes tonight time I'm gonna be doing some bank fishing here pretty sure no one else fishes in this spot I completely came up with the idea yep that's right I invented this spot definitely did not <laughs> I'm a like right now thank you thank you red and white lure are the best because the white looks like blood and the red looks like darker color the white looks like blood and the red looks like darker color what like I must say they are there are a few gems in there well that's good I thought they were all bad so at least there are a few that are okay all right let's do some fishing as if we were gonna go do something else all right toss this out here so we've got large minnows on a seven knot hook This is targeting tarpon specifically. We've got scaled sardines on barbless hooks, six aught. This is hopefully gonna catch a big black drum. And then we've got large cut bait on a six aught hook, which should hopefully go for a big red drum. This uh, atmosphere right now. The clouds and everything reminds me of the last time I was out inshore fishing in Florida. It was kind of cloudy, but the sun was coming through. It's really pretty. 4 a.m. here, oh golly. You better get some sleep, man. All right, we got a crab as well, which we'll toss out. Not seeing a lot of movement out of the water, so we might just stay here for a little bit, and if we don't see anything biting, We'll get up and move somewhere else. Maybe go try to catch a speckled bass real quick. 
give that a shot. 105 kg common carbon in real life. I don't think it was kg. I think it was just pounds. Yeah. Oh my god, you better post pics, bro. There's a permit on the scaled sardine. But yeah, someone did catch uh, like 114 pound carp in France, I believe. Somewhere in France. But yeah. Going for Onis in a rocky lake, very cool. So we got one permit so far. One single permit. Give this, give this four minutes. <sighs> if it doesn't do well, well, we'll go somewhere else. Try to pull you around again. Uh, maybe. I really, I really don't enjoy the streams at White Moose Lake. I realize that people like me going there, but it's, it's kind of like when uh, people would ask me to go to Lone Star or Mudwater. Like, it, it sounds good in theory, and then when you go there and you've done what feels like everything in like the first half hour, then it's just kind of like, what are we, what are we gonna do for the rest of the stream? A little fish, a little fish, a little red drum. Not catching any biggins so far. Hundred and thirteen. Better post some pictures then. I better see pictures. Oh, it's moving. This is the tarpon rod, but we don't have a tarpon on. We have a snook. Pretty decent sized snook, too. A little trophy snook. Didn't expect that. But I'll take it. So this is a different day we haven't experienced yet in the stream. And we have another one tomorrow, so maybe we ought to go out and try something else to see where they're biting. We got two more minutes out here. We're not not catching fish, they're just not... They're not big ones, for one. And they're not... So we got a black drum here on a large cut bait. 29 pounder. Just hit level 20, very cool. Finally got one on the float rod now. Well, maybe we ought to stay here, goodness gracious. So we got a permit on this guy. Fifty-one point two kgs. Really should have maxed out this rod before I brought it here. <laughs> Only level fifty-three. Ooh, very exciting though, eh? About ready to switch to seven out hooks. I feel like the I thought the six out would be a, a high enough. But we keep catching the smaller fish on it. This dude's putting up a bit of a fight. Though I don't know if it's just because I don't have this rod maxed out or what. This was the same rod that we were catching sharks with in the Amazonian maze. Believe it or not. We were in a boat though, which uh, means quite a bit. Talk to you hopefully next time. Hey, sounds good, man. Take care. Period, meaning it's 5,120. Whoa. 50. You mean 51? 5120? Goodness gracious. We still don't have this fish in. We already have another one on. That permit is just being difficult to deal with. We got a small tarpon on this one. 
little li tarpon. Uni permit? I don't think so, man. I think it's just a trophy, if that. The the permits are just deceiving. Everything about them is deceiving. They look so big, and then you finally get them in, and they're like, oh, it's just a trophy. Put this back out. Whoa. All right, I'm gonna be right back. Hey, Fred Bob now has memberships here on YouTube. That's right, for only $1.99 a month, you can show off your love with a BZ Hub badge of honor next to your name and giving you access to all of your favorite emotes such as King Bjorn, Gotham, Mad Lad, and Get Rexed. More emotes will be added with more members. But I have lots of money, what else could I do? If you want to support the BZ Hub more, check out the Hub Lord membership at $9.99 a month. On top of a badge of honor and your favorite emotes, you will also get your name featured at the end of every BZ Hub episode. But lots of money. For those of you with a cash burning a hole in your pocket, check out the Hub Master membership at $19.99 a month. Not only do you get the badge of honor, emotes, and your name featured at the end of every episode, but you also get a complimentary BZ Hub membership on Twitch for our weekly Twitch streams. Plus, you know, everyone will know you're a Hub Master, and who doesn't want that title? So, get off your booty and join the BZ Hub today! See, it's, it's deceiving though, because I don't have a futon behind me anymore and everyone watches the ad and they're like, Oh wait, Bo has a futon? No futon anymore. I, didn't, I don't even have a bookcase over there anymore either. It really just ages me. It, it looks so old now. But... Hmm, okay. I'm gonna call this good. We're gonna go. Big trout at Rocky. Very cool. Let's go see... Ooh! Ooh! Wait, 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 wait. I love this little spot right here. I used to throw out bait for it, but let's try... Yeah, well, let's just try a little buzz bait real quick. So yeah, there's a little fish. Is this bonefish? Looks like we got a little bonefish on here. Trophy bonefish. Or we could even get it up to the top of the water. <laughs> that I don't have. <laughs> well, don't spend any money you don't have. It's not it's not that big of a deal. Hey, 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 there's a snook. That's a or it's a redfish or snook? Snook, it's a snook. We got him. That's right. We got him. I'm gonna switch to a larva here. Catching smaller fish, so might as well switch to a smaller rod. One year membership. Well... No big deal if you can. It doesn't bother me, bro. You just do what you can. I just appreciate people showing up to the stream. It means a lot. Only level 7 the moment. Trying to get a new reel for some catfish and mudwater. Hey, that's a good way to do it, yeah. I gotcha. I gotcha. Two fish at the top right now. Oh, 
that's not gonna do us any good. I'm trying to see if there's any other fish making some. So I'm gonna try this one last time. Though so maybe we should switch to the other uh that grub, because we were catching the bonefish on that. Might get another uni bonefish that way. Ooh, we just went for it. Very true. Very true. Here, I'll try for that bonefish again. Sort of that old fly rod would be kind of fun. Trophy rainbow, very nice. Oh, thanks, Oculus. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah. We need the perfect rod set for the actual setup to work. Yeah. It's true. Definitely helps, anyway. You have a gray rod with a bad reel. Hey, you gotta have one before the other, right? It, it's nice to get them, you know, close together, but you know, if you can't, then buy, buy a rod and buy the reel when you can afford it, you know? One way to do it. I think we might have to give up on this. You're not going after the buzz bait anymore. But what I do want to try, if we can manage it, is, uh, I'm not sure if it'll let me, might have trouble reeling this in with this rod, but we'll try it. I'm pretty sure if my memory's right, pretty sure the medium spoon used to do pretty well here. completely wrong. Hmm. Didn't have anything to go for it anyway. Alright, well. Tried that. Let's try this. Last time you used the medium spoon was when you were at White Moose. It's a good lure. It's a good lure to use there. Toronto Kings here. How's it going? Josiah Cook. Hello, hello. Dude, that's a giant snook. Are you serious? I thought it was a red drum at first. Holy crap, dude. That is a ginormous snook right now. He's still taking a line out. And that is with us in a boat. <laughs> pulling, he's pulling us and still taking out line. Big boy snook, big boy snook. That's right. This snook, this snook has to be worth at least a hundred likes. Oh, there's some big fish over here too on the radar. Yeah, big fish, dude. We'll have to fish over here. 
after we get this ginormous snook in. This reminds me of when we were on, uh, in Florida last May. We, uh, we were just moving. We were actually moving from one spot to another, and we saw this giant shadow in the shallows, and it was a snook moving around in the shallows, and, uh, I think he was chasing after a fish or something like that. Anyway, uh, the captain stopped the boat, and we all tossed out our, uh, our rods close to where he was. And, uh, and dragged it right in front of him. But for some reason, he just didn't even see mine or my, my brother's and went for my dad's. And, and my dad had him on. And we were being just, oh, we were just being dragged around by the snook because we were using light tackle. And, uh, and I mean, we had him up close to the boat and that line snapped. Oh my God, it was so defeating. He was a good sized snook. Hard to say how big he was just because of the shadow, but there we go. 35 pounder. That's our second one, I think. Second 35 pounder of the trip. It's pretty sweet, though. Pretty sweet, though. It's a great picture. Great picture, Heenail. You look really cool. Send off text real quick. We're good now, though. Well, top notch. <sighs> Dang it, freaking glitch, dude. About to pull in an uni trout to match me. Ooh, very nice. I'm gonna be happy to hear that he saw eight turkeys on his way home this evening. What? Well, I'm hoping to, uh, drive home tomorrow. I'm hoping, anyway. <clears throat> so we'll see. Depends on how much work I get done. What time do you stream on Twitch? So we really don't stream on Twitch anymore. Um, we used to. We used to do, actually, one, tri one Twitch stream a week, and then we'd do one YouTube stream a week. But we were averaging, like, 18 people on Twitch, and then we come over to YouTube and have, like, 60 and it was just like, why are we even wasting time on Twitch? Like, obviously, YouTube is where to be. And uh, I was a, I was a dummy and uh, did the affiliate on Twitch so that you like can have advertisements and stuff on your stream. And when you do that, you sign this like part of your contract where you can't stream, you can't use something like Restream to stream on YouTube and Twitch at the same time. 28-pound black drum. Um, so that's the reason I don't stream to both of them. I've like try. I, I I should probably try and make another attempt. I probably have to like email someone. But I attempted to uh, take off the affiliate one time. No, it's not. I mean, we have over. A, I don't know. We have like 1,100 followers on Twitch, but. It doesn't it doesn't matter it, you know we go on twitch and we have like 18 people watching even though we have 1100 followers it doesn't make any sense so that's why we just ended up going on youtube because we have 27,000 <laughs> on youtube <laughs> PB fish in real life. Do we actually have a video showing it? Now I can't remember which one it is. This? It says they're on the bottom.
can always troll for them. That'd be fun. Let's try that. Do a little bit of trolling here. Just about had one. Oh. It's worth a try. Oh shoot, there's other stuff over here too. What? There's that YouTube wolf boy again. Crazy duck. There we go. There's a fish on. Another black drum. Oh no, it's a striped bass. What the heck? I can't even remember the last time I caught a striped bass out here. That was a surprise! Yeah, last time I caught a striped bass, I swear I was probably at San Joaquin. I just do not catch many striped bass out here. Don't really try to catch them anyway, but... Come on, bro. Come on, bro. There we go. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, well, that makes it fun. Oh, your first striped bass we caught out here. <laughs> it's a unique. That's awesome. That's hilarious. Oh, yeah, that's great. Good picture, he nail. Good picture. Uni, 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 uni. Got some movement over here too. Easy D gamers taking off. Sounds good. Should put in an announcement in the Discord that you are streaming. I want to see 1,000 people. 1,000 people watching the stream. <laughs> you would think, right? 1 30th of it. It's got to have the time off to watch, right? Come on. Got a little uh, snook? I'm guessing so. Little, little snook. AEW Wrestling, Australian European Worldwide Wrestling. Sounds pretty sweet, man. I've never been into the uh, Australian European Worldwide Wrestling, but it sounds really cool. Radar, trying to figure out where the heck they are. What depth are you at? Oh, they're at the freaking top, bro. What the heck? Do 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 boo boo boo. The song's kind of repeating. <laughs> the problem is I don't know what it is. Should we just play it safe with a 
little shad. A little bright shad. Who knows what it is? I make Mondays more enjoyable. That should be the BZ Hub slogan. BZ Hub. We make Mondays more enjoyable. I think that's a pretty good slogan. Come on, Buzzbait. Oh, big fish. Big fish. There we go. It's honestly not that big, but those darn permits get you excited. You got hit by a tornado last Thursday. What? Half England and full Mexican. Okay. I don't know what that means. Ooh, I cannot believe he stayed hooked after all that. He came right at us. Came right at us. Let's go, let's go. to the top <laughs> goodness gracious says there's a lot of movement out here but I'm not seeing any fish popping up on the radar two smaller fish down the bottom and one larger two larger fish down the bottom what the heck you know what this is just us just adapting you know what we're di we're adapting that's what we're doing they go up top we go up top they go down below we go down below that's how we that's how we do it How long until the stream ends? Oh, you know. You've you've been here before, you know. Yep, look at that, dude. That's how you adapt. Obviously a monstrous fish. I think it's another dang permit. Still haven't caught an uni permit today. We've caught a lot of permit, but we have not caught an uni permit yet. You tried to trick. I know you did. I know you did. The real question is, will we hit 100 likes before the end of the stream? I mean, we only got five minutes. I honestly am wondering if it's even possible because uh, I know a lot of people are just sitting on their hands right now just going I've already hit it I, I can't do anything else Bo I, I've I've thought about it I've thought about creating like three or four different accounts just to like it on multiple accounts but but I haven't done that for you and I'm sorry and, that, and that's, that's okay you know if you're uh, if you're in that boat I forgive you because we're in this boat being pulled around by this dang permit. Does he have a permit for pulling this much line out? I don't think he does. All I know is this 
trolling motor really needs to increase its speed. And he nail, you need to reel in faster. Oh, jeez. I don't think he is Nooney. I think he's just honestly... I think he's honestly just a small permit. He's definitely a fighter, though. Yeah. J-D-K-I. Thank you so much for the sub. Appreciate it. Got him in 94. Oh, he's on his last ropes now. He's on his last ropes now. We got three minutes. We got him sub 90. Oh, he's getting tired. He's always getting tired. Oh, sub 70 now, sub 70. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about is if he comes straight at us, we might lose him. Because uh, this reel does not have enough retrieve to keep up with the permit coming straight at us. I think he's just a little trophy. Sure is putting up a good fight, though. Come here, trophy, 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 trophy. Come on, come on. Twelve, eleven, ten. There we go. Trophy permit. We called it. We called it. One more. One more. Okay, that was a little bit further than I wanted. Did not slow the boat down as fast as I wanted to. Did we hit? Oh, we did a hit 100. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> you see what you all are capable of. See what see what it's capable of. I don't even know if there's a fish over here. Radar's not showing any fish. How much longer will we be live? Oh I reckon till about 1030 Eastern time. There we go. Looks like maybe a black drum. I'm trying to make out what it is. I'm telling you, this is like the exact opposite of what we did. Uh, how we did last uh, live stream fishing here. We're, we're doing much better right now. The fish are just biting like a crazy. I just hadn't scanned yet. Well, there we go. A little 26 pound black drum. Nothing to write home about, but hey, that's going to do it, I think, anyway, for this uh, this live stream, everybody. Blue Crab Island. It's a fun place. I enjoy it anyway. I think it's a, it's a fun, a fun, good, fun, fun, good, fun place. You know how it is. You know how it is when you're out here having the fun, good, fun time, doing fun, good, fun stuff. Um, hopefully if you're uh, if you're not to blue crab yet soon you will be because it is a fun place there are some fun fish here the red drum snook tarpon black drum uh, god permit the permit are more annoying than anything uh, they never seem to be uni and uh, and they always seem to go after your lures when you're trying to catch other things but yeah always a fun time my goodness gracious Ryland. Well, anyway, uh, glad you all could make it. Uh, thought it was a fun time. Make sure you're at our next live stream Monday, obviously. Same time, same place. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to be doing yet, but uh, surely it'll be fun. So, yeah, that's, that's what it's going to be next time. Sounds good. Well, uh, yeah, everyone have a great rest of your week. Looking forward to hearing how it is. Hopefully going to have a, uh, a good amount of videos ready for next week. I'm excited about it. I have some, uh, some good ideas in mind. Uh, but until then, take care. And as always, everyone, remember...
plan.